Hi, this is Mr. West. Today we are doing a walkthrough video for subtracting negative numbers sheet to from MathSalamanders.com. Make sure to check out MathSalamanders. They have tons of great resources on tons of different math topics. But let's go ahead and start with subtracting negative numbers. This is a big obstacle for a lot of students. I'm going to try to break it down in a couple ways probably primarily using the number line here. The number line is a great way to use it. There's a couple other methods that I like to uh, use also that I describe in some of my other videos, but I'm going to primarily talk about the number line in this video. Now, one of the key features I think is important is anytime you see two minus signs next to each other like that, okay, I would rewrite the problem first. Okay, I don't like it when there's two minus signs like that next to each other. So what I would do is anytime you see minus and then minus like that, you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to turn it into a plus sign. So imagine if we have this situation, you're going to want to turn it into a plus sign. That's what I like to do. See how it kind of almost makes the plus? So don't just make it plus minus. I see that mistake a lot, but turn this into 3 plus 4. Okay, so before I do anything, I would just go through and make sure all these problems, okay, and that's what it kind of looks like. You just connect it, make it plus. This became 4 plus 5. Not like this. That is not that situation. It's any time they're right next to each other. So we have minus minus. That becomes 4 plus 6, okay? Why is that? Because if you subtract a negative, it's like taking away a debt. It's be, it's a good thing. It's a positive thing. Okay, so that's one way to describe it. There's a couple other ways to describe it also, but I think it's like going to reverse, then going reverse again. You're facing the same way you started from. Okay, that's another way to say it. But again, we need to change it to negative four plus four for this problem because it was minus minus, and we don't want that. Okay, and that makes these problems a lot easier if you change it first okay so let me go ahead and finish this up I just want to do a few more make sure we don't have any minus minuses out here negative 3 plus 7 negative 8 plus 6 uh, and then 5 plus 3 I think I got all of them okay now uh, some of these are pretty easy obviously 3 plus 4 you know is 7 but why I'm gonna talk about using the number line now I'm gonna go ahead and erase this so using the number line what I would do is that you start with the first number so this first number is where I'm going to start from. Okay, so I'm going to start at the number three. I'm going to find three. Boom. There's where I'm starting. Okay, now what I'm going to do is anytime I add, okay, on this number line, I'm going to move to the right. And anytime I subtract, I'm going to move to the left. That's it. You start at the first number, you either move to the right or you move to the left based on addition and subtraction, and then you get to the new number. Uh, for the answer. So let's start. Let's just get an example. You obviously know that 3 plus 4 is 7, but let me show you how it works. So if we have 3, and then I add 4, that means I'm going to move to the right 4 units. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, and I land on 7. That's my answer. Okay, that's my sum of those two numbers. Okay, let's go ahead and apply that to some tougher questions, and you see that it's actually a pretty good system in which to handle these problems. So I have negative 2 minus 3. Ooh. That is a tough problem for a lot of students, but let's break it down just like we talked about. Negative 2, we're going to start here. Negative 2, that's where my first number is, okay, on the left. That's where I'm going to start. Now, I have minus 3, so negative 2, minus 3. Start with the negative 2. I'm subtracting 3, so that means I move to the left. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3 units to the left. My answer is going to be negative 5. So I have negative 5 for this answer because it's negative 2, minus 3. I'm going to go ahead and erase. Okay, and uh, I've seen students have uh, number lines like this, and they just they fill them up, they erase a lot, they get super used, and it's great. Okay, they also have number line worksheets in Math Sound Manders if you want to use those. I highly recommend just printing out a ton of those to help you visualize the problem until you guys get the pattern on your own. Okay, I'm going to move this up a little bit just because I need to use that space. Now I have two minus eight, so this is my start. I start on two. Okay, so I'm going to go to two. This is my starting problem, my starting number, and then I'm going to subtract 8. That means I move to the left because I'm subtracting, okay? So I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and arrive at negative 6, okay? Now, you'll notice any time the negative number or the minus number is bigger, you're going to see a minus in front. So look, we had a minus in front of the 8. 
the 8 is bigger than the 2, so it's going to end up having a minus out in front of it. Okay, So that's a pattern that you may notice as you go along. Um, I'm trying to think of, there was a counterexample. Oh, if they both have minus, they're going to become even bigger minus. Okay, So that's something to keep in mind. And then we're going to see a couple other patterns, and I'll talk about those when we get there. So again, with number 5, they both have minus, so it's going to stay minus, and it's going to get bigger. Watch how this happens. So I start with negative 1. The problem was negative 1 minus 5. So I have negative 1, that's my start, minus 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Guess what? We got more minus, negative 6 for this also. Okay, I'm going to look for a problem that has, oh, I forgot this one, 0 plus 9. That's 9. Um, I'm going to look for a problem where the positive is bigger than the minus. Aha, here's a perfect one. So I rewrote the problem first because there was minus, minus, make that plus. So I have negative 3 plus 7. I'm going to start at negative 3. That's my starting point. So I'm going to look for a negative 3 right here, negative 3. Now I'm adding 7. Notice how the positive number is bigger than the negative number. That means it's going to be positive. Now you obviously don't put a positive sign in front of just positive numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 because it's implied. We arrive at 4. I don't need to put plus 4. I just need to put 4 for my answer. But keep in mind, again, the positive was bigger. The 7 is bigger than the minus. So it ended up being positive, which I means I just don't include the minus, okay? And that's how you're going to uh, do a lot of these problems. So this one's going to be 8. This one's going to be negative 2. This one's going to be positive 10. This one's going to be positive 6. This one is going to be positive 4, okay? So those are just some help. If you need more help, go ahead and leave a comment on the ones that you need, okay? Oh, here's a great one. I want to do this one before moving on. So we have negative 4 plus 4. Let's go ahead and see what that turns into. Maybe you guys can even predict what's going to happen. If I start here and then I move in the positive direction, Okay, I add 4, so I go 1, 2, 3, 4, and I arrive on 0. So I get 0 if I combine a negative 4 and a positive 4, because they're the same value. Okay, Remember I was talking about which one's bigger? They're the same. It ends up being 0. This is kind of a tougher section uh, here. Fill in the missing numbers. So I have 3 minus a blank equals negative 2. If you want, this is what I would do. I would go up here. I would start on 3, and then I would find negative 2. Here it is. I know I have to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the left. I have to subtract 5. And that's what I do for these problems. Okay, So that's what I would do with all these. Start on the first number, negative 5 minus. Okay, So I go over here. I was just doing the next problem across. Negative 5, that's where I start. I find negative 9 at my ending point, and I go 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 4. And I get there. Okay, and again, same thing here. If I have minus minus, I'm going to turn that into plus 3. And that's going to make it easier for me. So something plus 3 equals 4. Okay, so something, here's 3. I add 3, So and then I get to 4. This one's a little tougher because we don't have a starting point. We don't know where we start, so we're going to go backwards. So we're going to say, okay, I get to 4. That's where I end, and I add 3. So I go to the right 3 units. So I'm going to just go backwards 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and arrive at positive 1 for my answer. So for those ones, you might have to go backwards. Instead of starting at the first one, you may have to go uh, to the second one. Let's do one more of those. I think number seven is the only other one it is. Okay, so I have something minus seven equals negative nine. So I'm going to erase all this. Okay, something minus seven equals negative nine. So I end here, and then minus seven. That means I move to the left seven units, so I'm going to do the opposite. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I went one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I arrived on negative two. That was my start. So minus two, minus seven equals negative 9. Okay, and th then we have these other problems here. And again, the more you understand how to work with these uh, negative numbers. Oh, number 3 is a tricky one because it looks like 2. I move to the left and I get 6. So anytime uh, this number is to the right and there's a minus, that means I need to put a negative sign there. Okay, so I need to move. Actually, I want this to be 2 plus 4, not 2 minus 4. Okay, and again, I can show you how that works on the number line. So I start on 2. I ended up on 6, but I'm moving to the left. How does that work? See how like we can't do that? We can't move to the left and get to 6. So we're going to have to do minus, minus. So technically we go whoop, whoop, like this. Okay. So I move to the 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right, but I'm minusing. So I have to minus, minus, which turned into a plus. Okay. So that's how those ones work. So I got most of those done for you. Use these pairs of numbers to complete the subtraction equations below. There's a couple different options here, but let's go ahead and do maybe a couple of them. Um, 
let's see here. So if I had negative four to start here, what I'm gonna do if, I'm just gonna look for numbers that add to it, okay, that combine to get me those numbers or have a difference of those numbers. So for example, negative 10 is a big, so I know it needs to be like a combination of these. So I have four and six that I know can get me to 10. Negative five can't, unless I use it twice, which I don't think you should do for these problems. So I'm gonna do negative four minus six. Okay, and I can use the number line to help. I can start at negative four. I can circle negative 10, start with negative four and see what I have to do. I move to the left six units. Now, if it's something like negative one, notice how uh, that's smaller than any of these numbers. So I'm looking for a difference here. That means I need opposite signs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, let's see, I'm gonna start with a minus four and then, hmm, no, I need a plus sign for that. That one doesn't work. Okay, so that one didn't work. But I could start at a, hmm, this one's actually pretty tricky. So let's see here. Because I'm thinking if I had a positive 4 and then I subtract 5, that would work, but I don't have those numbers. But I could put, oh boy, this one's really tripping me up for a second. 6 is the biggest number. I can't subtract anything from that. 3 minus a negative 4, that wouldn't be any good. Uh, negative two minus, ah, mm, nope, that won't work. Oh, okay, I got it. Whew. So I could do negative five. This one was tri trippy because uh, a lot of the combinations don't work. And I could add four. Okay, you probably think, whoa, there's no positive four, but if I subtract a negative four, that's what it becomes. So play around with the different combinations. Okay, uh, find numbers that are one away from each other for the ones that say one. Find numbers that are two away from each other for number two. Um, and that should help you. Let me do one more for you. So again, three and five are two away from each other and four and two are two away from each other and four and six are two away from each other. So I'm gonna start with those combos. So if I have like, for example, uh, negative five plus three doesn't work. So that one's not, I need it to be um, something like, let's see here. I also said negative two and four. That one, if if I made negative four and then minus two. Okay, I think I got it. So this is negative four plus two gives me negative two. So that one works, okay? So that's a really tricky, that's a good challenge at the at the end there, number seven. Um, but yeah, that's it. I hope I gave you some helpful hints. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll do my best to answer it um, in the comment section. And either way, I look forward to seeing you next time right here on Wes Explains Best.